A tampon dispenser installed in a Connecticut high school boys' restroom reportedly only lasted minutes before being ripped out and destroyed. Brookfield High School saying they installed the menstrual product dispenser in order to comply with a new state law. The law requires public school districts to provide free menstrual products in women's restrooms, all gender restrooms, and at least one men's restroom. It applies to all restrooms for students in grades 3 through 12. For more on this, let's welcome in now Connecticut State Senator Rob Sampson and Connecticut State Rep Leslie Zupkis. Welcome to you both, and thanks for coming on. What a wild story, right? What's going on here? Uh, these tampon dispensers did not last several minutes in the boys' restroom. State Senator Sampson, uh, talk to me about how this law is playing out. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. And, uh, yeah, this is something that has been on my radar since, I think, 2021 when it passed in the budget. And um, it wasn't supposed to be implemented for a couple of years after that, but some towns uh, were trying to be prepared and, and decided they were going to move ahead with this uh, policy early. And uh, my hometown of Wolcott, Connecticut, uh, they started doing it and uh, the residents found out and it was all over social media and uh, people were concerned and upset and contacted me. So I've been very outspoken. I uh, tried to offer an amendment on the floor of the Senate last year to, uh, to repeal this uh, mandate on local school districts, but unfortunately it failed on a party line. Every Republican voted to uh, to remove the mandate and every Democrat uh, defended the policy. Uh, if I could bring in State Rep uh, Zupkis on this one here. Again, just wanted to be very clear, Newsmax does not advocate for vandalism of any kind. However, mm -hmm. this has happened um, within a boys' bathroom uh, within minutes of it being installed within this high school. Uh, I would just want to go back to the state rep to a basic question. Why are tampons in a boy's bathroom? Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me as well. Um, uh, that is the question. You know, it was pushed by a former senator uh, and a group of high school students to do something uh, they thought was good for uh Cities who I guess could not afford or have uh, access to tampons. I, like Senator Sampson, do not believe they belong in a boys' bathroom. It's just inviting what happened to happen. Um, of course, I don't think any of us agree with vandalism, and we know it's wrong, and you, there are accountabilities that happen when you do these things. But um, this is just inviting these types of things to happen. Well, the Brookfield High School principal has a response, issuing a statement saying he was disgusted and dismayed by the incident in an email calling the act the work of immature boys, not men. Instead of turning to vandalism when they don't understand something, students should seek to learn more, ask for more information. Use your words to start a dialogue rather than using your hands to destroy something. In this particular instance, if you have questions, please let me know. Uh, that's Princip Principal Mark Belanda there. And I think State Senator Sampson, you were saying you didn't have to do this right away. It was required at the end of the year. So clearly this school and this principal is taking a stand. Uh, why is that? And what should parents know about this decision? Right. You know, I, I think that there's a culture war going on in our country. And I think that there are uh, people that are pushing a very progressive agenda uh, and they're all around us, and many of them, you know, work in uh, in school districts, and uh, you know, they're complicit in this type of behavior. I mean, you know, it, it's funny because I mean, the Democrats are very good at trying to paint Republicans as if we're intolerant or we're bigoted in some way, uh, and that's not what this is about at all. I mean, I, I think that uh, myself, uh, certainly, and Republicans that I know, um, we're all in we're the freedom guys. You know, we're the freedom people. We want to see people be able to live their lives in the way they choose. But there's a big difference between, uh, you know, being tolerant of people's choices and using a public school to push what I think is a very progressive uh, culture war kind of agenda. Uh, and remember, this goes down to third grade. There's, there's no excuse for third grade students to be exposed to this type of, uh, you know, discussion or, um, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's tolerant and then there's reality. And in this instance here, we've got to leave it right there. We have breaking news. Thank you to Rob Sampson and Leslie Zupkis. We appreciate your time. Uh, we Thank you so much.